Hey guys, how's it going? Now I have said it multiple times, and I'll say it once again. I love using Spotify, and if you're someone like me, we can be friends. But obviously, like if you're listening to Spotify tracks day in and day out and every day, it can be a tedious task keeping a track of everything that you have been listening to. And more importantly, like, why do you want to do that tedious task? Spotify can do that. It's always interesting, however, to actually view all of those stats at once to see like what your music progression has been or like what your taste in music in general has been. So if you are someone who's interested in checking out your Spotify stats. This video is for you. This is one from Dining Deck, and in today's video, I'll show you different ways in we can check even simpler or advanced statistics of your Spotify data. Let's get started. All right, so kicking things off, let's start by talking about how you can see Spotify stats on your PC or macOS, basically by using the desktop client or the web browser. Just open Spotify on your desktop or web and then click on your username at the top right corner. Now from the list that appears, click on profile to access your Spotify profile. Now you will see the top artists and the top tracks of the current month. However, here you can only see a total of 10 artists and 50 songs on that page. Now if you want to view a complete list of the 50 top tracks of the month, just click on the see all button next to the top tracks this month. You can now browse the songs that you've been obsessing over in the past month. Now, unlike the desktop app, the Spotify mobile app does not show you the top artists or the top tracks that you've listened to, like in terms of the frequency, but it will still show you the recently played tracks on Spotify. To do that, open the Spotify app from your phone and then press the settings gear icon at the top right corner of the screen. Now scroll down until you find the recently played artists toggle in the social settings and make sure that it is enabled. Once you've enabled the toggle, scroll up on your username to view your profile. You will now see the recently played artists in a dedicated section. You can also press on the see all button to view the complete list of your recently played artists on Spotify. Speaking of recently played, we have another dedicated video on that, which you should definitely check out on the card here. Now, while these are the stats for viewing data in the last couple of weeks, what if you wanted to do it on an annual basis? Well, that's where Spotify's own Spotify Wrapped feature comes in. Now, usually Spotify gives you a notification for that, but for some reason, if you missed out on checking out that, here's how to actually go about checking your Spotify Wrapped for the previous year. Just visit this link, which will be down in the description box, and then click on your top songs 2021 to access the playlist, which will basically contain all of the top songs from your past year. And that's it. You can basically browse the playlist featuring the top 100 songs inside your library that you've played, and then you can even save them. Now, these were all basic stats. Now, if you want to take things a little advanced, take a deeper dive into everything that you have like listened to on your Spotify account, this next method is for you. Now, for this, we'll be using a third-party tool such as Volt.fm. Open the website and then click on sign in with the Spotify button. You should now allow Volt.fm permission to access your Spotify account in order to generate the insights. Once you have agreed to the terms and conditions, after a few seconds, Volt.fm will show you that your profile is ready. Just click on the See Your Profile option to view your Spotify stats on Volt.fm. Now, in the home screen, you will see the song that you're currently playing along with the top genres. Now, scroll down to view even more details. You have different parts like the top songs, the top albums, and the top artists. You can also customize the view based on weeks, months, or all times. What's more is that you also have the option to save your top songs as a playlist. All you have to do is click on the Save as Playlist button, and that's it. Bolt.fm will automatically add the playlist to your library. Now, my favorite part here is the analysis section that highlights the general mood of the songs that you listen to. Another cool thing that Volt.fm does is that it shows you the average popularity, release date, and the length of your Spotify library. I mean, these are just crazy stats, but trust me, this, like as a person who's really into music, Using Volt.fm is a great tool. Now, the only slight con to that is that it is a third-party tool. So, I mean, you have to be certain about sharing your data with a third-party website. If you're okay with that, go ahead, no issues. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Now, speaking of more tech content, there's so many of Spotify tips and tricks and more videos around Spotify that we here at Guiding Tech have done, which you should definitely check out from the links down there in the description box. Till then, this is one from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.